Okay, Buck, when, uh, nice game. When you are coming in, in the outfield, when you're coming in to make a catch, as opposed to like the couple of spectacular ones that have been to your backhand side, do you approach it differently, run differently, have footwork that is different when you're coming in? Um, not really. I think the biggest thing for me coming in is keeping my head still. Like, uh, it bounces a little bit more as I'm coming in just because I know I'm trying to close in on this ball a little bit quicker. So um, I tend to think run on my toes a little more running in because that keeps me like keeps your head a little bit level. So if I changed it, it's more more of me running on my toes to keep my head a little bit more still. But um, yeah, it's coming in is definitely tougher for me. Coming in is tougher, you said. What about going back on the, you were reaching for the wall, timing the jump. Was there anything that you had to do on that catch? I mean, you didn't have to keep your head still. No, nah, all I got to do is stay off the wall and catch the ball. So I did both of those. So it's just one of those where off the bat, you know, with the way that the temperature was dropping, I kind of knew that the ball wasn't going out. So um, I had a Ryers right there to, to kind of guide me a little bit. And we, we communicate very well in the outfield now. Not that we haven't in the past, but it's just one of those where him just moving out there, he's very vocal about it. So it's, it's a little bit easier for me to go back towards the wall because, you know, he's right there trying to learn as much as I'm trying to learn not to run into this wall.